Greetings! Today we are back at Gear Gaming Bentonville, and I am with Robbie, and my name is Ben, aka Downsize It. And we have a 600 point special bat rep for you today. Doing a mission I've never done before, brand new to us. And also going Rebellion again for me, and uh, just trying out some builds I've never been able to do in the past because I never played Rebellion. And Robbie is trying out the Separatists for his second outing to give them a go again. I uh, also just let you know I forgot my tripod for the dice tray, so I'm going to try some different angles to, with what I have to give you some good shots there. Just bear with me on that. So coming up, we're going to go over the fleets and the mission, and then after that, deployments with the pre-game interview. For the Rebels, we have Commander Sato on a Pelta-class command ship, Lando Calrissian, Auxiliary Shields teams, All Fighters Follow Me, Expanded Hangar Bay, Phoenix Home, and Flight Commanders. Then we have two MC-80 Battle Cruisers with Expert Shield Tech's Gunnery Teams, Auxiliary Shields Teams, Leading Shots, Spinal Armament, and Heavy Turbo Laser Turrets. We have a GR-75 Medium Transport with the Bright Hope title and Torn Far. Bomber Command Center and Expanded Hangar Bay, and another GR-75 with Ray Antilles, Comsnet, and Expanded Hangar Bay. For the Rebel Squadrons, we have Wedge Antilles, Luke Skywalker, Dutch Vander, and four X-Wing Squadrons and three Y-Wing Squadrons. For the Separatists, we have Count Dooku on a Munificent Comms Frigate with the Tide of Progress 12 title, Wat Tambor, Medical teams, boosted comms, and spinal armament. Another munificent comms frigate with T series tactical droid, boosted comms, spinal armament, and the Sa Nalor title. Two hard cell battle refits, both with Link turbo laser towers. A hard cell transport with Rune Hako, Hondo Onaka, comms net, and the Beast of Burden title and another hard cell transport with Foreman's Labor title and Bomber Command Center. For the Separatist squads, we have General Grievous, two Belbelub Bel uh, Starfighters, four Hyena Droid Bombers, and six Vulture Droid Fighters. For mission selection, Robbie chose to be second player, so I had to pick between Most Wanted, Abandoned Mining Facility, and Solar Corona. And I decided to go with Abandoned Mining Facility. I have, we have never played that mission before. And in this one, we get to add the two Purgles and the Dust Fields. My first time also playing with Purgles. And by spending engineering points near the station and the Dust Fields, we can gain victory tokens that are worth 10 points each. Doing it near the station gets you 3 points each. Or every 3 points you spend gets you a victory token. And next to the dust fields, every two points you spend gets you a victory token. And if you get multiple tokens from the same dust field and the same activation, that dust field is actually removed, so obstacles can be removed from the board. And purgles can be dangerous on the board. They move around, and if a ship runs over a purgle, the ship suffers damage equal to the speed they are going, and squads suffer damage just by one damage by landing on purgles as well. So coming up, we will do deployment along with the pre-game interview. And again, I apologize since I forgot my tripod. The deployment angle is going to be a little odd while we're setting up, but I'll try to get some still pictures so you can get a better angle of what everything is looking like after deployment is completed. Uh, Robbie, why don't you go and tell me the concept behind your uh, fleet design and deployment for this mission? Uh, uh, just We're going to just go forward and I guess have a big scrap with the, the fighters there in the, in the uh, side. We're going to use Count Dooku to stop you from in using engineering tokens. The square objective points 
But other than that, it was basically have two hard cells, uh, two combat hard cells to put some good forward arc fire out and rely on engineering and uh, squadron commands to try to try to kind of overwhelm. And then I have the uh, two support hard cells that are going to be passing out tokens and bomber commands. So uh, then with the, uh, the flagship Duke Zone, we're going to use Block Timbalor to kind of do some of the shield shenanigans and move them around and to repair damage quicker with Engineer. And then we have the other comms for it. Basically, the two. Uh, well, you'll also be able to gain a lot of command to or uh, victory tokens yeah. if you're close to the station doing that. Yeah. So. so um, yeah, you see was, the close one? Is this this is uh, yeah, that's the command, that's the command ship. Yes, you can see that's Dooku with Y. So, yeah. so he's right there, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be my plan is to try to stop you from using engineering tokens and keep reading mine, guys. So see how it plays out. Well, uh, my uh, second four way into the Rebels. One of my favorite ships in the game, uh, definitely my favorite on the Rebel side, is the Battle Cruiser. The MC-80 Battlecruiser, the Mon Cal with wings. I always loved that ship when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. That's why I have two. I've always wanted to run a dual list of those. And I also wanted to uh, just run a bunch of classic squads, the X-Wings and the Y-Wings, which uh, a couple of the classic named characters with Wedge, Luke, and Dutch. See if I can get that Dutch-Wedge combo to go off, or Wedge just rolls a ridiculous number of dice. And hopefully we can get Luke and those Y-Wings to get some good bombing runs, stay free of your vulture swarms. That's going to be tough. I uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any of the actual objective stuff because um, just so people know, Dooku has two engineering tokens and a nav token, so that means for two rounds you're going to raid my ability to do engineering and that's just, that's going to really suck. <laughs> and I don't know if I want to just plan to just, yeah I don't know, I might just have to forego the mission, we'll have to see. So, um, yeah, so coming up, uh, we're going to start doing our planning, and uh, be interesting with the Purgles. They're kind of, the Purgles are on the opposite side. Here's where the Purgles are, where the combat's going to be going, but we move them, so we might choose to start moving them towards the combat, just get in each other's way. So, we'll see. Never played with those before, and never played this mission before, so it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out, especially who can win this. It's definitely going to be a squadron mess. So is it going to be the Separatists and their Vulture Droids, or is it going to be the Elite Rebellion Pilots and the X-Wings? Can they hold out? We shall see, coming up, the start of round one. Here we are at the start of round one, and I did forget to mention that... Uh, the Separatist fleet, as their second player, they all get to start with an engineering token. Oh, well, I guess I should ask you now, Robbie, are you activating Dooku this round, or are you going to save his raiding uh, ability? I'm going to activate him now and hand out a uh, engineering token, raid token. Okay, so all of my ships gain raid engineering. So I cannot use engineering, but I can discard dials to get rid of tokens, if need be. If I want to. Okay, we will start with my unmarked uh, battle cruiser, and it is an engineering. And I'm just going to discard the dial to get rid of the raid token. And I'm moving at speed trace, pretty fast and unmaneuverable for this big guy. I think I measured it properly on deployment where I can just go straight and avoid the purgle and the debris field. Yes, just barely missing it with my shield dial. Just barely. Got a navigate command. This is a one of the uh, battle part cells. Right here. So I will use the extra click on the dial, moving at speed two. Like it's gonna move back. Yeah, it's not gonna change much though, just a slight shuffle of this back squad. Yeah, just gonna... yeah, I'll be doing my numbered battle cruiser, which is also gonna be an engineering, which I'm just gonna discard to get rid of the raid. This one is moving at speed two. Okay. Speed 
Two, seven engineering tokens. This is the flagship DQ ship. She's done. So we have an engineering token. So we'll have an two. Oh, hang on now. Let's see if you're within distance one. So this is pretty close, this dust field. Uh, not just outside distance one. Because you're going to use that engineering to gather some future tokens. But not quite close enough. Right there on top yeah. of the vessel. Bright Hope with Tor and Far. Feeling a navigate. I'm not going to discard it because I do want to use it to slow down to one. We'll just keep that engineering to raid token, no problem. Slowing down to one. I'm just doing a little uh, side turn here. I might hit Luke. Oops. Hit Luke here. Yeah, we're running over Luke. Set back there. So I'm going to want just that yeah, corner here. Yeah. Right, sounds good. Point out which one that is. Uh, one, sixteen. Okay. Have a squadron command. I will token that. And I will transmit it to the cell nor. So comment. And do I have anything else? I do not. So I'm going to go speed one. And I'll get a click. Get two clicks. And I hope I miss him. I don't think I'm going to, am I? Uh, ooh. Yeah, I think I hit him. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, just. Oh, uh, that's. Yeah, I, I guess you did nudge him a little bit when... Yeah. Just barely. So yeah, he'll just go back to where he was. Okay. And we'll both take a face down damage. Now it's barely. Alright, we'll do the... Tier 75 with Remus Antilles. He's really a squadron. And he's gonna... I'm gonna get a token from his special ability. I'm not spinning the dial, but I'm getting the token from his ability. Tom's netting that over to uh, Phoenix One, uh, Phoenix Home. And then since I didn't spend the dial, I think it, I, this is legal, I'm just going to discard the dial to get rid of this uh, raid token. Not a big deal if I, uh, I don't think I was going to be doing engineering on him, but uh, just thought I would do that because I think that is a way you can use Ramus to get rid of raid tokens because you're not spending the dial to get a token, but you can then discard the dial to get rid of raid. I think that's correct. Uh, I almost forgot, I need to actually do movement. Going at speed 2. Turn it. This is the unmarked uh, heart cell. So he's got a navigate to me now. So we have Phoenix Home, which I'm revealing in engineering, and I'm going to discard the dial to get rid of my engineering raid token. And currently moving speed two. Single click, single click. Just a nice, lazy turn to the left. According to Family Guy, that's a crazy maneuver that Han Solo can do. This thing lazily to the left. And that's the foreman's labor. Navigate. Are you wanting to take a token or are you going to be using the. Uh, uh, I'm going to be using it because I, I want to keep the token. Okay. Speed 2. Oh, right. Yeah, they're only uh, command 1. Oops. Sound of or. Engineering token. Engineering. I'm not going to get to use it, so I'm just going to go. Two. Okay, come up. We'll do squadron phase. I'm not going to show that because there'll just be movement. And then 
and we will also be moving the Purgles, but I'll go over the review of that at the start of round two. Start of round two. Dooku has used his second um, engineering token to raid. Uh, Robbie chose this Purgle. It doesn't want to be part of the mess and has moved away. However, uh, I thought this Purgle was interested in this abandoned mining station. Some resources it wants to munch on. For squadrons, got Dutch and Wedge pairing up. Luke escorting the Y Wings and then the X Wing squads moving forward, prepared to engage. The Vulture Droids have moved forward with their Bellulabub escorts and Grievous. To the Hyena Bombers waiting in the wings to make their moves to do their bombing runs. We are definitely going to be seeing some contact this round for sure. Okay, so I'm going to be activating a Bright Hope with Torn Far that's on the left here. And it is a squadron. And I get three squadrons with my expanded hangar bay. And I'm going to be activating Wedge, Dutch, one of these X Wings. And we're going to see if we can't clear out some of this uh, Vulture Droid chaff. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and move them in as, so that you can see where they'll be. And as normal, I only do this one at a time. This just makes it for um, purposes easier because I kind of know where they're going to go. So, yeah, this X Wing. Move in there and engage all three. And Dutch is going to come in as well to engage all three. And then Wedge is going to just be right up on this one. But he is also engaged with all three. And I don't believe I'm in any, I'm definitely not in any flak range, so I won't be doing, not be doing any shots with Red Hope. Okay, we're going to start with the uh, X Wing on the right. Aaron Quine attacking the Vulture Droid on the right. Four blues. And that is three hits. I think that's all I needed. Yeah. Uh, they'll get that one right there. And we've got Dutch coming in on the Vulture Droid that is furthest back for two hits, but I get a Torn Far reroll there. For yep, two hits. Not dead. And I'll then also heal and slide his activation slider over. He'll be considered activated because he got took damage from Dutch. And then actually Wedge is going to go up to the other one uh, that is undamaged. And so far only two hits. And Torn Far. Nope, only two hits. Didn't get what I needed. And then Bright Hope is moving at speed one. This uh, hard cell battle refit right here. Navigate command. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to be taking a long range shot at my Ramus and Tilly's. Oh, and I forgot to mention to you guys, um, I used the squadron uh, token that was on Phoenix Home to activate all fighters follow me. So that fleet command is activated. Uh, well, this isn't right hope, but this is uh, going for Ramus. So going to slide those over. To, to this edge so they can see what the roll was. Reroute circuits. Or, yeah. the or the uh, turbo laser eight. towers. Yep, to reroll that. Alright, and I will definitely scatter that. Well, hang on. Uh, we'll still scatter. Yeah, I know I'm going to be getting a shot from Magnificent, but got to keep them alive as long as possible. And we're moving speed two, correct? I'm gonna use my, I think I'm going to use my dog. Speeding up speed three. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to be activating Remus and Tilly's 
Tier 75, it's a squadron. I'll be using it and then getting my token from Ramus. I'll be commenting that over to Phoenix Home. And then he's going to be activating these three X Wings, actually. And I'm going to come over here and do some bombing shots into the side of this hard cell. And I'll be taking a side to side shot at close range right here to do into the side there. Okay, so uh, we'll start with first X Wing. It crit does count because it is a bomber. Take what, you're in the, attacking the side? The side, yeah. All shots are going into the side, including one from a GR-75. Okay, second X-Wing. And accuracy, and then Bomber Command. So that's a regular hit. Uh, can I reroute? Yeah, you can redirect it, just like normal. To the front towards the back. Go to the back. Okay, and then last X-Wing, that is a double hit. I'll go ahead and brace down to one, and I'll take one damage. Okay, brace to one and take one damage. And then the GR-75 shot, which I will be using Sato's ability, since I have squads nearby, to turn it into a black dice for a single hit. Do you want to just take this one, or do you want to turn your redirect to... Um, no, how, much, how much is it? One? One. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright, so two face downs on that part cell. And just going straight at speed two. And setting up a nice double arc for Sal Nolar to shoot at me. This will be... I have a feeling Ramus might be going the way of the dodo here shortly. Okay, so Cell Noir is activating, that's this one here. Yeah. Squadron dial and put the squadron token already on the ship. So three. So yeah, so first I'll do I use the token first or the dial? You first? use it all at the same time. Okay, so it'll be six since I have the T series tactical. Well remember with you can't double it on a command. Oh, I can? No. So then I will Yep, yeah, and just save that token for whenever you don't have a squadron command, then you can use that token, use that as a full dial. Get yeah, three. So we'll get there. coming in. Yeah, boosted comms. Yeah, that one. <clears throat> Both of them. I forgot to get the card for Oh, that's right. That's right. Yes. Plenty of range. Yeah. Rebus coming in over here on the right flank. So all the value webs coming in. Let's see if they can't do with these X wings. Pretty sure this is going to be long range. Yeah. And then you're going to be consuming. You're going to be doing some. Uh, Shots in my GR-75 here. Yeah. And just so you know, uh, so my other GR-75 is just out of long on the front, so the, you could potentially flack out the front if your side shot doesn't kill. Let's get the squads. Which one's going to be tagging first? And are you just into the furthest yeah, yeah. X-Wing? So X-Wing on the right. And his crits count as hits because yeah. he doesn't have defense so I'm going to move those over so they can see. Three. All right, so three damage. The X-wing is still alive. All right, and next value of the one that's right next to him, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, we just need two more. And uh, yep. So you got your two hits. Yep. And then the other one will attack the X-wing nearest. The hard cell. Okay, the one that's next to the hard cell. This is the above on the left. Alright, I'm just going to slide those over. Alright, so three hits. So that X Wing is alive on two wounds remaining. 
Okay, and then we've got, I'm assuming you want to do the side to front first. Yeah. So three reds and two outside the front. Uh, yeah, I've got, uh, I've got, uh, yeah, both side to front. Yep. Oh, well, side to side. So. Okay. Yep, into the Ramus Antilles Gear 75. Three reds. I'm going to slide that over. I might make you just re-roll to keep my scatter for your next shot coming in, but you could accuracy it, so might as well just burn it now. And now you've got front to side, and you get three reds because spinal. spinal. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man! And I'm just gonna—I'm not gonna spend this. I'm just gonna take it on the shield and count my blessings. Must be two, and I take my shield damage here. No more scatters left for that GR75. Oh, not not that many. You're probably gonna hit this vulture, and that's probably it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh. Well, not good there, everyone. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'll hold that down so you can. Those guys are just like right up in there. I'm actually just going to keep him in this fur ball because he's already activated because of Dutch. I don't mind so him he's being... right here. Yeah, yeah. You just and so is this guy. Right here. Uh, Phoenix home it is an engineering, which I'll just be discarding to get rid of my raid token. You basically not let me do my uh, auxiliary shields teams. I needed my shield. So normal shields all around. Um, I do have some shots. I didn't get in the picture here. Me... I'm pretty sure I'm in long range. Clearly in long range from the front. So it's going to be a corner, or a corner to corner, front to front shot into the heart. Okay, cell. so it's two reds, and then I'm going to use Sato to swap the two reds out for two blacks because I've got squads around. And I'll be a hit in a hit. Use my. Evade. Okay, so you can just cancel one because it's long range. Uh, and I'll have to eat it. Yeah, so it's front to front? Yeah, you still got full shields there. So shields go down to two. And just move along at speed two. Nice slow turn. Good. So we're doing this other battle hard cell that took ramming damage. Yeah. And go ahead. Uh, it has an engineer. And I get three engineers, so I'll repair. Yeah, so repairing the damage you took. Damage. So I'll get rid of this. And then this line here into the Ramus Antilles GR75 barely is not crossing my line and is barely missing obstruction here. We use the laser pointer for it. So it is a clear long range front to front into the GR75, which has no more scatter. Got, uh, what is it, three reds? Yep. Three reds coming in. Uh, yep, so that's actually, let's see here, very right, nice, I will spend this evade to cancel the double and take two, so one on the shield, one face down. All this fire coming in on this GR-75 and it's still alive, barely. <laughs> and C's at speed two, correct? Sure. Since C has not activated yet, I am going to place him out of engagement. I don't want him shooting at me. Okay, activating my unmarked battle cruiser. It is a navigate, and I am going to be using it. So I will not be getting rid of my uh, raid engineering token. And I will be taking an obstructed by the station long range shot into this hard cell transport. Okay, so I get four red, plus one for spinal, but minus one for obstruction. So four red into the hard cell. And then, oh, that's what I got, two hits, two crits. And just so you know that uh, I do have heavy turbo laser turrets. So if you spend any other defense token along with your brace, you only reduce damage by one, it's not halved. But if you spend only your brace, you still get to, to do the half damage. And this is just to make you re-roll? No, that'll make me uh, cancel, it, cancel it because it's long range. Cancel two of your crits? Well, just, well, if you discard it, you can cancel both. Oh. 
if you can cancel one by spending it. Spend it. I'll cancel okay. one crit. One crit. Okay. I'll then re I will. I can't use this. You, said. you can use it, but it's only reducing damage by one right. since you spent the either. Right, read about one. Okay, so two damage coming in. And did you want to do your redirect? Yeah, I'll, I'll redirect to yeah. this side. So reduce it down. And can I redirect to the other side as well? No. Okay. Unless you have an advanced shield protection. And, and then take one in the front? Or? Yeah, so one on the front, one on one side. So you're taking it off the uh, right side? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and using my nav dial, slow down to speed two. And then using that dial to get that click at the two. Normally you don't get with these very unwieldy battle cruisers. Landing on the station and discovering, hey, there's nothing in here except a bunch of materials, but no bar. Okay, doing a ton of progress, squadron command. Uh, did you want to spend your engineering token to get some uh, victory? Yes, yeah, I'll spend the engineering token. So, tide of progress, spend the engineering token. So you're getting two, and for the mission, when you're over at Dustfield, you can spend two to gain one token. So, uh, yeah. uh, so I got two right there, so I got two engineering points, so I'll get one victory point? Yes, one victory token, that's worth ten victory points. Unless you want to do your uh, Watt Tambor stuff to get more, and for every two you spend, you get another um, victory token. But if you get more than one victory token on a dust field, that dust field is consumed and goes out of, goes out of the game. So then I can shoot you? If it goes uh, away? You still can't shoot here. But I can shoot at him? Uh, yeah, I believe so, because I think it, this all happens during the engineering step. Yeah. I guess so then I'll use white Timber and I'll take a shield from the back. So that gives me... No, I'll take... Uh, no, sorry. I'll well, take, it doubles it, right? So yeah, I'll two. take two, two, two shields. So that'll give you four, four more. Four. Okay, so you have a total of six. And you can, you can, every two you spend, you can get a victory token off the dust cloud. And it's, so you basically get three victory tokens. And since you spent, since you got more than one from a dust cloud in a single turn, in a single activation, this dust cloud is now removed, and therefore clearing up all of your yellow dots that you had blocking you. Which uh, that's actually a pretty cool mechanic to do that. And I'm assuming, well, first you need to do your squads. Which ones are you wanting to activate? And he does have boosted comms. Alright, so will that be in range to do bombing run? Um, so you'll be here. Yeah, oh, so I'll be And you'll be obstructed, and since you're starting with. I think since you're starting with one dice, but you have AI. It's going to be two red if I activate them. All right, so for, so I think this is how this works. You have to form your attack pool first before that's added. Okay. And obstruct, when you, being obstructed, you wouldn't mm -hmm. be able to form an attack pool. But you could send these hyenas in. Yeah, I don't think they okay. four, though. They're not going to make it. Oh, let's see. That'll be close. Because you just need to get within distance one. Go ahead and put that down again. Go ahead and lay it on the table. All right, so I'll go ahead and... That's about as close as they can get. Right. Now, I'm going to pick it up. Yeah. I'm just double checking just to. Yeah, no, it will be outside of. Uh... Okay, so. Um... But these guys, if you can get them over here. Well, no, my yellow dot is over the station, so that all shots are obstructed to the front. So. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead. Let me know if I'm doing that wrong. I think you have to be able to form the attack pool first before you start adding AI, di AI dice. And obstruction happens before that happens. So I got one, two. And then I can activate, yeah, him. So I'm gonna activate, I'm gonna make one of these, these guys over here. Gonna move him. Right, so sending some of these vultures over to deal with the X wings that are on the far right side. Oh, yeah, Got one on two wounds, one on full health. I'm getting, definitely getting swarmed. And then move him over here. Send him over to help as well. So it's three. Right, one will be your three. And just 
I know that sounds like a broken record, but just always remind people watching, normally do these one at a time. Like I said, for filming purposes, unless it really matters, we just do it all at once to make it easier. Okay, so we've got first... Um, to abstract it, the one that, uh, the one that flew over this one right there. Yep, so the short one we'll do first, the one that came the shortest distance to try to take out the two wound one, that would make most sense to do that one first. Uh, here we go. And then slide those over so they can see what the result was. One, and so we got the two hits needed. So the X-Wing goes down. All right, then we get two more vulture joints to try to take out the final X-Wing squad on that plane. So first one. That is three hits. Okay. And then second one. And that's... So slide this over so you can see. Wow, three, uh, two hits again. So exactly enough. Front, yep. No, front, front. It's, it's side to front. Yep, so we got a shot on GR-75, side to front. It is obstructed, so it'll be two red dice. One, I... There might be more shots coming at me, but I think I just got to do it. I'm just going to spin that to cancel it. Got no a more side to tokens. front of my... Um, Unmarked battle cruiser, so all, it's also obstructed because my yellow dot is sitting right over the station, so all shots into the front are obstructed. Alright, I'm gonna just slide those over there so they can see it. Uh, oops, double one in accuracy. Yeah, so what do you want to lock down? Uh, uh just lock down your redirect. Yeah, so I'll just Trace it down to one, take it on the front, shields down to four. Okay, right. now for my marked battle cruiser, and it is an engineering. And I'm just gonna discard that to get rid of my engineering raid. And uh no shot out the front here because it's dust field. It's blocking line of sight. Otherwise, that'd be a fantastic shot to the front of this munificent den instead that has been unharmed. And that is. Yep, Sal Noir. And that is going to be a clear long range shot. So, two red dice on that one. Okay, so it's normally two red dice at long range, but I'm going to take those two reds. And since there are squadrons nearby, what do you change those two to two black with Salto? It'll be a hit crit. I will spend my evade. No, I don't have it. Since I'm summoned the one I'm going to speed to, I'm going to use evade. And I'm going to cancel out. Cancel it? Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to salvo back. Okay. Uh, so that's two red? Salvo yeah, two red. Two red. Just there. There. Okay. One. Mm -mm, we got one. And uh, this is into my side, and I'll go ahead and just use my redirect and my expert shield text to reduce that down to zero. Let's go. I'm going to speed two, and I am going to be running, uh, running, ramming Tide of Progress. So I just put this one here. I am doing turn out to click, and that is where we will end. And we both take a face down damage card. This is uh, we've got the hard cell beast of burden. Beast of burden. Okay, and it's an engineering. I'm gonna. I'm actually going to use that. I'm going to repair his one damage. Um, from the ramming. Yeah, from yep. the ramming. Alright, take that away. And I'm going to. And you still have an engineering token from the beginning of the game. Yeah, I'm going to uh, take his engineering token. Oh, oh right here. Yeah, I'm sorry, okay. I'm going to take his engineering token. And I'm going to comms net it over to the Munificent. The tide, the, the tide, tide of progress, the yeah. flagship. Okay, so. Uh, okay, we've got squadron phase coming up. Um, there really is no maneuvers that could happen unless I let them happen. Um, where we'll be engaged. I'll just show the final movements of the ones I have not activated because none of them are in range to actually shoot anything. And then we'll do the removal of the Purgles off screen and I'll show you where they end up at the start of round three. So 
start of round three. Virgil just did some shuffling here on the side. Dooku has used his last raid, so I have navigate um, raids on all of my ships now. In the movement in the end of the squadron phase, the Y wings and Luke, I had them shuffle back and basically stage in preparation. We have the hyena bombers over here also moved to stage, ready to strike. And then the last vulture droid came down over here, out of the fray for now, ready to move in. Lots of sparks can be flying this round, especially I think over here, as Dooku and Wat Tambor are face down two Mon Calamari battle cruisers. All right, well I have, I really have to activate Remus. One last time, because he's going to die. He only has two health left, no defense tokens. It is a squadron. And then I'm going to use Ramus' ability to gain a token and comms like that over to Phoenix Home, which, by the way, I did activate again. All fighters follow me. So basically, they all can move speed four right now. And I'm going to be doing lots of flacking, probably out the side and back. And then I'm going to be activating Wedge, Dutch, and this X-Wing, I'm not going to move them now because it is going to matter of what I shoot at and where I go. I'll just describe as best I can where those shots are going. Okay, going to be starting with uh, the generic X-Wing on the right side of the screen to try to take out that uh, Vulture with one wind left so I can free up Dutch and Wedge. And I did get at least one hit that I needed so that Vulture goes down. The X-Wing still can't move though because he is locked down by the uh, Vulture in the belly above to the right of him. Then, so I've got to make okay, my so choice. So I changed my mind. I, I wanted to, my choices were to really send Wedge and Dutch into that scrum on the right, which would have just been them dying. Instead, I'm sending them over to the left to throw some bombing shots into the side of the Tide of Progress, and also to get them in range for Sato's ability for my other ships. So we'll start with Dutch with a hit crit. Side. Yep, on the side. Um, shoot. Just so you guys know, that's the side that he took the shields off from Watts. So there's only one shield left on that left side. Redirect. Okay. Back. Back, so taking them both on the back. Zero. So shields down on the back, and then wedge for a hit crit again. First down to one. one. Just take it on the shield. Yep. Alright. Okay, and then he's going to use his salvo on wedge. So what's the anti squad? One red. One red. One wedge. One. one hit. So wedge is down to four. Okay, so now for the flak out the side and the back. And one thing I just realized, because I'm so used to playing Imperial almost exclusively, GR 75s are not Zantis. They can't shoot at normal ships. So the uh, one hard cell that I shot at, I think it was round two, last round, I could not have done that, so I let Robbie take a damage card back, so he has only one damage on that guy, because that was an illegal shot. So, but now we'll be doing some flacking, I'll start my side flacking, and then I've got several double arcs, which I'll then be doing um, the rear flacking out the back. So we'll start with the sides, so we'll start on the vulture droid that has one health there, in front of the hard cell. Yeah. For one damage, this it's one? him, yep. Then the Vulture Droid that was right next to him. First shot. One damage. That was which one? Uh, the one that's right next to the GR-75. This one? No, GR-70. Yeah. That right, right in there. Yep. So he there. takes one. Then the two Vulture Droids... Or that's the belly button, my bad. That's why you're confused. Sorry. Gotta get used to what these look like. Then these two Vulture Droids on the back. Um, this one first that is not double arced takes nothing. Then the one that is double arcs, uh, this is going to be one to your left there, the closest to my ship. Yep. He's getting shot twice from the double arc, so one hit, and then the double arc from the rear, another hit, two hits on that one. And then I have the belly above double arc in the rear as well, and he also takes a hit. This one? Yeah. No, the, uh, the one that I damaged already, that's right next to the, yeah. So effective flacking. And now for our movement, before he dies. Alright, fly at speed 2, 
And I'm going to hit wedge. You want to take wedge up there. Landing like so. And place wedge, however. Just right here on the back. Alright. So he's an unnamed, so it's an unnamed one. It's one of the battle ones. And you're going to be taking a front shot into yeah. Ramus to finally kill him. Yeah. And then probably a flat, and then a flak out the side on Wedge and at this X wing okay. here. On my gear 75, no defense tokens left. Uh, two Just need two damage, that's all you need. I have no shields left. So, Ramus and Tilly's gear 75, go down. I also had my comms net on there. Okay, and then your flak, so you've got on wedge. I'll go ahead and slide that over. Yep, so one hit on wedge. Alright, and then the flak on the X Wing. Down to three. Two hits. Two hits, so the X Wing is also down to three. And I took. I've got. Hey, oh, and it was a navigate command and reducing to speed one. Dutch there. Okay. So put Dutch right on this corner. Alright, time for the Phoenix home. Revealing a squadron command. And I will be activating Luke and these four Y wings, and they're all going to fly over into the side of this hard cell. The bombing runs here. And then I'll take a medium range shot front to front. I'm not quite in range from front to side, but front to front into this hard cell on the front of the screen here. Alright, so we've got um, Luke and the Y-Wing going into the side of this. This is the hard cell combat. combat that has not been shot at yet. So Luke going in first, uh, then Bomber Command Center on Bright Hope for a hit, and that goes straight to the hull. As of Luke, unless you want to make me reroll it with an evade, but I don't think you want to risk the uh, hit crit. And then first Y wing, hit crit. And that's on the side? Yep, this is all going to the side. Uh, I'll brace it down to one. Brace to one. And just take down the shield. So zero. Okay. Okay, then next Y wing. For a hit, um, redirect. Okay, okay. to the back. back. And then last Y wing. Hit. So, um, um, I'll have to burn the redirect. Burning the redirect, sending it to the back. Alright, now for my front to front shot, medium range, I get two red, two blue, and I do have an X-Wing barely within distance one, so I can swap these out. So I'm swapping out one red and one blue for two black, so it's going to be one red, one blue, two black, and that's with Commander Sato's ability. Alright, I will stop your evade, that'll be three damage, one of them being a crit. We have uh, two shields left on the front there. So you stop the evade. Yeah, so no evade. So I'll burn the brace. So brace down to two. And I'll take the two on the front. Alright, so shields down on the front. Still burn along at speed two. If I'm hitting this vulture. Just that one, so you get to place that vulture droid. So it just got shot. Engineering. Engineering. So I'll use the engineering token gives me three engineering. And can I use the token? Yeah, so you start with three, uh -huh. so with the dial, and then you get half rounded up with from the token, so you can get up to five engineering. Five, so I'm going to um hmm, I'm going to go ahead and raise these one up here. And you got one left over if you wanted to move a shield somewhere. Um, I'll move one from the back to the side. 
Well, you can't go above your starting value. Oh, okay. So you can you can raise your front shield up to one more by moving from your back. All right, so we're zero to one. Um, we'll go two. Yeah. Here. No, two, and then zero back here. Gotcha. So okay. two. Raise shields on the front and the side. Shields down on the back. And then we've got a front to side shot in the Phoenix home here. And then I'm guessing you want to then probably just do this then a uh, side to front. I'm guessing. Yeah. All right. Which one are we doing first? Uh, the front to uh, front to side. Front to side. All right. Three red dice. Now we got crits and blank. Then you get your link turbo laser towers. Okay. So all the crits in the world. Um, your other shotgun is going to be obstructed, probably. Let's see, I will, uh, let's redirect that. Three damage. I'll be re redirecting, uh, one to the back, and two on the side. So, shields down on the port side and the rear. Okay, and now your side to front, one red. I'm going to read that, yeah, it's blank. Or a hit. I'll just take it on the front. Shields down. Moving along on speed three. Am I going to hit him? You might. Looking at my uh, bright hope over here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and see if I can. Yeah, this will definitely be a ram. So go ahead and describe your two. Which one? This one? Your, your two dial, or two uh, maneuver tool. And just do the same clicks you got going there. And then, I'm going to click that two at just the one. Right. And only I take the face down, because flotillas don't cause damage to other ships unless they're a flotilla. Right, hope. Takes it in. Getting my unmarked battle cruiser. It is a concentrate fire. And I'll be taking my first shot obstructed because my yellow dot is over the station. Front to side on the tide of progress. I'll be using my con fire there and taking a second shot front to front of this hard cell transfer. Alright. First shot's going to be front to side onto the tide of progress. So I'm starting with four red, three blue. Subtra and then subtracting a blue because of obstructing, obstruction, gaining a red from spinal, and get rid getting rid of two reds and adding two blacks because Dutch is nearby from Commander Sato's ability. So that's going to be a total of three red, two blue, two black with a concentrate fire. So here comes the shot. It's actually not bad at all. You guys can see that. And concentrate fire into black. I don't even need leading shot, so we're going to accuracy. Um, I don't mind if you solve me. Brace and you redirect. And that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage into the side. Yep, so the. Uh, Four damage with the first one face up. Getting through. Um, how progress? First one up. Ship. So I'm going to use before you oh, got face good. up damage. It's ship. a ship one, and that was structural, by the way, guys. That would have been extra damage, but tied to progress. Let's just discard it outright. So three more face down. So only four damage instead of six damage, which would have killed him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tide of progress for you, saving Dooku's bacon there. Okay, and then for the uh, activating gunner team because of the con fire. Uh, this one I can't modify with Sato. I have no squads nearby. So uh, um, after reducing my obstruction and getting spinal, I'm going to have two blue and five red going into the front of Foreman's Labor. I have so far. I am going to go ahead and 
Spin this for leading shots to reroll these two blank reds. Well, didn't get any accuracy, but that's okay. So that's going to be four, five, six, eight damage. Four and then minus one, so down to three, so down to three from the title. And then I'll make you. Well, well, if you want me to reroll, you do that before you start doing okay. all this stuff. Uh, um, and it will be a reroll because we're at medium range. I'm gonna then burn the brace. Make you reroll the double, the two doubles. Oh, burn the evade, you mean? Yeah, burn the evade. So burning the evade because it's a bigger shift than me. So I have to reroll both doubles because we're at medium range. That. So you did net me lose two. I got a blank and then a double back. So now we're at two, three, four, five, six damage. And then I'll brace. brace the three. Then your title reduces it down by one. So only two damage on the front. Unless you want to redirect it. I'll redirect one to the side. So redirecting one to the side and only taking one damage on the front shield. That was a pretty effective negation of a battle cruiser's fire. Just needed one accuracy. So I'm going to two. I'm going to use this click here. I'm going to ram. Um, we both take a face down damage, and then I'll be landing here, landing on the station, so my damage will be healed. So, one more face down damage, one health left on Tide of Progress and Count Dooku. I'm sure it's no surprise to anyone, Tide of Progress is activating. Engineering. And is an engineering. Four plus tokens. Six. Plus what? You're going to get a lot. Um, and then you do you do have me double arced here, side to um, front and front to front into this battle cruiser. So I'm going to use my six engineer. Well, you get more if you want to walk tambour it. So, but I don't have any shields, though. You got three shields on. Well, you can oh, do yeah, your own shields yeah, and the other people's yeah, shields. I can do, yeah. So I'll take one. I think it's between one and three, or one to five. So and one you can get this guy way in the back. So I take one from him. So now I'm with the eight engineering. But you can take two from him. Not one. I think it's. One uh, one hull zone on it. Okay, so spend up to two shields from any of your hull zones. Oh, or any one hull zone. Oh, so yeah. I can. All right, so I'm up yeah. to. So you're getting four from Watt, uh -huh. two from the token, and four from the dog. You're getting ten engineering points. I've seen this on other battle. This is just ridiculous when okay. he just tees so, off. So you get ten engineering. Okay, so I can get rid of. You can get rid of three damage cards and have one left over to move your shield somewhere. Yeah, three over. All right. So, three damage cards just erased. <laughs> that is insane. But also pretty awesome. I don't think you want to move any shields, though. The only shields you have left are the four on the front, and you're going to need that. My return fire, that's about to happen. So, I got two left. And then you're going to be doing a double arc. He's got me side and front, both going into the front. And this is clear because my yellow dot is over, is past the dust field that we're, I'm overlapping. So the dust field is not obstructed. Finals. It's going to be three red, two blue. One second. Let's put about this area so they can see it. You got one accuracy. Um, you got four so, hits and an accuracy. And you can only use this once. Yep. Uh, I will stop one of your braces. Or what do you well, I can use my other brace. Yeah, oh, you the, can. Yeah, the, using the extra on a brace just means I would. The only thing that's going to be effective is stopping my redirect. Okay, so stop the so, redirect. Yeah. So brace down to two. So shields down to three on the front. All right. Now for your side shot, three reds. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this. Look at that shot. That's what red dice can do sometimes. So five damage coming in. Well, I'm definitely going to be, let's see. Well, I'm definitely going to be bracing it down to three. My other brace. Now I have the choice to make my redirect because I have expert shield text. Do I want to redirect three or reduce the damage to two and just take it on the front? And I think I'm just going to use my redirect to reduce the damage to two using expert shield text and take two on the front. So shields down to one on the front. And then we ram, we both take a face down damage and because of Watt's shenanigans, Tide Progress is not dead yet. And I have now taken two damage on this battle cruiser.
Okay, now we've got uh, my last one, which is the battle cruiser that just got hit, revealing a concentrate fire. And I will be doing my first shot front to front on uh, Kata Progress. And then with my concentrate fire and gunner teams, second shot will be going front to front of this hard cell, and it is a clear shot. No obstruction, no dust fields. So All right, so first shot front to front into the Tide of Progress and Dooku. And all of these shots, uh, Dutch is near both ships, so I'll be doing Sato shenanigans. And these are clear, so I start with four red, three blue. Spinal gives me another red. And I'm actually going to swap out a blue and a red for two blacks with Sato's ability. So into the Tide of Progress. Okay. Oh, not so far. Important thing here is I don't have any accuracies, that's a problem. I'm going to then use my con fire because I have to. I don't want to gunnery teams, concentrate fire, black. Okay. I want to see if I need the leading shots. So you have no shields to redirect to. I've just done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. On the you, front. you have actually you have four shields on the front, but only three health left. That's actually exactly enough to kill you, so I will not leading shots. I can't burst down. Uh, yeah, you'll. Br oh wait, that's right. I need I need an accuracy, right. don't I? Yeah. I completely forgot. I need an accuracy badly, so I'm actually going to leading shots and also pull out this blue to reroll as well. Come on, accuracy. Alright, I got an accuracy, but I don't know if I knitted. Oh, no, that was blank. Damage I need. I need seven damage to get the kill. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> exactly enough okay. to get it. I'll, I'll stop the brace, obviously. But you can settle back on me before you die. Two red. Yep, so must be my defense tokens. Okay. Uh, Man, you just lighten me up. <laughs> Dooku's not going down quietly. I will actually... Oh, man. Um, I will... Burn the redirect. And... Take two on the side, the port side, and one off my front. So, shields down on the front and the port side. How many shields are left in the front? None. Yep, shields are down on the front and my port side. My redirect is now gone. Side. The same combination of adding um, black dice with Sato. He's only taken one damage card so far. You still have your brace, don't you? Mm -hmm. Alright, this is what I got, so people can see. I think... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you brace it down to four, you could also make me re-roll up to two. I think I do want an accuracy, so I am going to leading shots. Pull this blue out. Pull this blue out to re-roll. Re-roll this. And I think I do want to... It's really just not going to matter if I don't stop it. So I am going to go and pull out a single red. Just trying to up my chances of getting accuracies. Alright, there's an accuracy I need. And I am going to stop your brace. Alright. How much damage? That is going to be five damage. You could spend the evade to have me reroll one or burn it and have me reroll two. I'm gonna burn it and have you reroll. Um, can I make you reroll the accuracy? Or that, that's no, right. accuracy you get spent. Um, you I'll have you reroll. I don't even know if it's enough thing to make you reroll. I don't have any damage on it. Are oh, you taking one damage? One. How much damage do you already have right now? I mean, uh, damage in the pool? Uh, it's five damage with a crit. Yeah, so I'll make you reroll. 
Which one are the lowest odds? Of, okay, so I'll make you reroll. Uh, so this one can't get worse. I could get a, just a regular hit or so an I'll accuracy. Make you the roll blue and the reds could potentially go into doubles, but they also have blanks. All right, so I'll make you write the critical red. All, all the criticals? All right. So right now, three damage with rerolling these from burning the evade. So get an accuracy, which is useless, but still get a crit. So how much damage is that? It'll be four damage. damage. So shield will go down to zero. Yep. Zero, and then I'll take three. Yep, with the first one face up. Uh, blinded gunners. Okay, the one, two. It wasn't structural. That's the important thing. Okay. One speed two, best I can do is this turn here, which I think I'm going to hit on the other battle cruiser. Yeah, that's definitely going to hit there. Hit there, so I just go back to where it was. Both Battle cruisers take a face down damage curtain. Choose this one here. Yeah, squadron. Squadron command. Got hyena bombers there. So I'll activate two of them. This one here going after my battle cruiser. Sure, I'm still in the front. So both high monitor is going in, and I don't think you have any. So if you got a long range shot, you can take a long range shot to this battle cruiser after the squadrons activate. Yep. My first high in a bomber into the front. So I got. I'm gonna make sure a uh, a uh, while attacking a ship, if you are activated, you may add one dice to your attack. Yep, and you do have bomber command now, which is the uh, other one that's closer. So I'm reroll these. I get two. I got, in yep, I will. Uh, I gotta start. Yeah. Burn the brace, take one. I think we're getting to the last legs of this uh, battle cruiser. Okay, then I'll bomb with the next one. A little bomber command. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, well, oh. no, 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 there we go. I'll take that. So it was one hit and one crit. Okay, so hit and a crit. Burn this brace, take one face up. Oh. It is faulty countermeasures. I cannot spend exhaustive defense tokens. Uh, I'll just flip that base down because I have no more defense tokens. I have taken five damage, three health left on that long range shot into the other battle cruiser. Uh, one crit and a blank. One crit and a blank. I'll just uh, actually use my expert shield text to maybe see what's beast moving at. Speed one, I think. Speed one. Yeah. Okay, Formless Labor, Squadron Command, so any hyenas in, see if they can't finish off a wounded battle cruiser that has no more defense tokens, only three health left. With Bomber Command rerolls. Then looking like just doing a, uh, I guess you can decide where you want to shoot later if he doesn't die. You can do an obstructed shot if you wanted to. Okay. Yeah, but most likely he's going to be doing a front to front into my battle cruiser here. Or maybe front to side if you got clear shot. You got a clear shot into the side. So probably front to side would be better. Alright, sure. first the hyenas. That's uh, bombing. Uh, bomber command. You can only bomb a can't roll, roll, roll one. Yeah, yeah, the accuracy doesn't do any good. But. Sorry. No, you're good. So crit, have to take it, face up. Uh, discard all my command tokens. Don't have any. So how much health is left? Two health left. Just need two damage. And he got it. Exactly enough. The numbered battle cruiser goes down in flames. And then your uh, front uh, side into my other battle cruiser. Oh, front to side? Yeah, cause I'm assuming you don't want to shoot my friend because no, there's not. four shields there. Yeah, there's only two shields on the yeah, side. So, go. Watch him, hang on. Um, I won't look at that. Um, I'm just looking now. My yellow dot is over the station, so it would be obstructed going into the side. I'll be wrong. Well, do you want to still go into the side with two less, one less dice, or just shoot into the front with three dice? I'll just go if I got. Go if you got. Yeah. Okay. But so I'll take. Uh, I'll just take the two red crits. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, what so I'm saying is you're, you're wanting to just do the, uh, the side shot. Yeah, front to side. Front to side. 
Um, I will then just brace it. It's going to be the same difference regardless of what we took and one damage on the side. So shields down to one. So going at speed two, there's really no way to get around it. We're both going to ram, so both take it face down. First damage for the um, foreman's labor as far as damage cards. And two damage now. On it's my down alar. What's the uh, command? Engineering. Engineering. I don't think I'll use it. Or do I have any shield lesson? Yeah, I think you're at full health. I don't think you're going to shot at you yet. Okay. And not in any range to do uh, any of the uh, victory token stuff. So I will spend my token, my squadron token. To activate one. Activate, use that to, uh, since I have a T-series battle droid. Oh right, using T-series battle droid. Yeah, so that's when you use it. Now yeah. exhausted. So you can activate three now. So we'll be doing these squadrons around Phoenix One or Phoenix Home. Uh, are there any shield? Yeah, there are shields missing. What are there? Yep, on my side. I think it's on the red. Um, I got these squads here. Shields on the port side are down. Mm, man, this is going to be a gamble. So if I take in. These bombers are terrible. I've already. Have I already. No, I haven't attacked with. Yeah, all the, all the blue ones have not gone yet. Yeah, none of them are actual bombers, so crits won't yeah. count. But, I mean, still can do clink damage to me. So I got him, him. Man. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack. I'll just move the squad and go for it. Yeah. So I'm gonna do I don't a, know, what would you think? Just your ideas looking at this. So I could well, this has got Sato on it. It's my flagship. So if you take him out, I'm not going to be able to do the whole replacing two dice with whatever color I want, which is obviously going to be black dice. Okay, so I'm just going to take these two droids, so the, the ones with the red dice. Okay. Take them in there. Well, if you want, so you want to hit this side, I'm guessing. Side, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just flying him around like so. That's still in range. And then this guy will do... And, and I've then, got one more vulture down here. So send the vultures in. Vultures coming in to do their red dice. They're not bombers, but uh, you can actually make it over here. Make sure you get some range. Yeah, but you could potentially get the doubles, and then depending on what happens. Well, I'm assuming you want to do a side shot. Yeah, side to side. Yeah. Let's see if side to side is clear. Side to side is clear, and that will be something important. A medium range, so my evade is only for re-rolling, not canceling. Then, your front shot, you'll have options to shoot at. Alright, so now for the vultures into my side. Mm -hmm. Slide that over. Blank, Blank okay. Second. Yes. One, one hit. One hit, I will just take it, so one damage. Just one. Okay, and then your three reds into the side, in range. One accuracy, I'll stop, but that matter, I'll stop uh, your redirect. Stop my redirect, so I have to take it. Three health left on the Pelta. Okay, then we got doing a medium range shot front to side into Bright Hope. And with Spinal, it's supposed to be three red, two blue. Oh, well, you got both accuracies. And that still has. So you just take the shield damage? Uh, no. I take a shield and a face up. Because you have two damage there. And one's a crit. This could be a problem. It's structural, I'm dead. It is not. But, uh. This com noise can reduce my speed by one. Oh, I forgot. I didn't activate Bright Hope. <laughs> I forgot to activate Bright Hope. Um, we'll just let you guys know. So this is what would have happened. Um, one second, we'll get to So that. got lost in the shuffle, forgot to do Bright Hope. So what would have happened? I would have revealed it. It was a squadron. No squadron to activate because they've all been activated. I would have discarded it, get rid of these. Moving at speed one, I would have then, just let you see here. There's nowhere for me to go because I had a battle cruiser sitting here, tied of progress there. Speed one would have moved up here, and then he would have actually been able to ram Bright Hope with this guy um, instead of ramming my battle cruiser. 
Although, you're probably wanted to ram a battle cruiser because that killed the battle cruiser. So you probably would have wanted to ram the battle cruiser, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. So, Bright Hope was still going to be alive. And, uh. But, I only have one health left. And since I've already would have had activated my dial, you can reduce my speed by one. So you can reduce my speed to speed zero. Okay. That's what you want to do. Uh, yeah, so I'll reduce it to speed zero. Yeah, which will, you know, unless I activate Bright Hope first next turn. Bright Hope's dead next turn. You know, it was a little, that was my fault for forgetting. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but uh, Bright Hope's at speed zero, one health left um, going into. Um, although, uh, you get to place Wedge in this Y Wing, by the way. I'll just keep this live here. Now let's go and do this movement of Manificent. How fast is Manificent going? Manificent is going uh, speed 2. Well, let's just do this live. The speed 2 hit Bright Hope. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. Speed 2. Uh, go for, nah, it's not going to. Uh -uh. I'm just going to miss. Okay. I don't want to turn the one. I can maybe turn into you. I don't think I will. No, I don't think you'll be able to reach it. But so much <laughs> yeah, I'm just giving this live. I'm sure you guys watching have already realized this, especially you rebel players, realize another mistake I just made. This is just what happens when you play a new faction when you've never played before. Look at that, just barely missing. <laughs> I forgot that I'm uh, running Bright Hope. What does Bright Hope let me do? Reduce one damage. Reduce one damage. So I actually didn't take that crit. Okay. Because the damage reduced by one, the crit would have hit on the shields instead. So I'm still speed one, two health left. We got there eventually. <laughs> um, mistakes are made sometimes, um, so just we got it worked out and figured out. So we got squadron phase, and um, Grievous and this buddy Bub's in range to attack. So is this one, but he has to attack the X-wing which he's engaged with. And then Rob is going to decide if he wants to actually take shots or if he wants to move them to get them. Um, over into some of the other fur balls that I have. That X -wing. And you'll notice some additional squats there because I forgot to place the Y wings in Luke after uh, uh, the movement. Oh, so, which one is it? This, this so, it's this guy right here. Okay. He's attacking this X wing. Good. Three. Got him. Oh. Four. Wow. Nice. So, four damage, and he only had three health left, so that. So all generic X-Wings are now down. Uh, I have one that might as well. I'm going to try to like, go down over here and just move them over here. So you said Grievous is moving over to lock down Luke and the Y-Wings, so so is the other belly above. So they have to shoot at them instead of doing bombing runs. Alright, and that'll be it. We're going to move the Purgles, and then coming back at the start of round four. And here we are at round four. Lots of carnage has happened. Lots of ships smoking. Lots of damage. And there will be more ships dropping this round, I imagine, as well. And we're going to do the giveaway question for February for the $45 store credit to Admiral Tater Ship Shop. And uh, just following the trend from last video, gonna let me know what is your favorite medium base ship? What is your favorite medium base ship and why? Gonna post that in the comments below to be entered into the giveaway. And just remember, each video you post in enters you in for additional chances to win. And my favorite medium base ship is the Quasar, specifically the Quasar 1. I think it is probably the best dedicated carrier in the game. I know there are some better battle carriers, but just as a pure carrier, the Quasar is fantastic, and I really enjoy using it as such. Alright, first ship I'm going to activate, and also just one last time, I did activate All Fighters Follow Me, which will probably be the last time it gets activated. And I am revealing Torn Far Bright Hope doing a squadron command before Bright Hope dies. Get three squads. I'm going to be doing Wedge, Dutch, and this Y Wing. I'm just going to do these maneuvers now. This Y-Wing is going to maneuver 
right in here to get a side shot into the unshielded section of this uh, hard cell that has one health left. I just need one hit with the Lawnmower Command reroll. And I'm assuming that all goes well, but I'll change it if it doesn't. But I should be able to get at least one hit. Dutch, with my All Fighters Follow Me, and Wedge are going to be flying over here to pick on Grievous. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and be able to take Grievous out with the Dutch Wedge combo. We shall see. I'm using the Speed 4 from All Fighters Follow Me to get there, otherwise normally it would not be able to reach. First, the generic wiring coming in to throw a bombing shot on the side of the heart cell. He does have a brace left, but the brace doesn't matter because he only has one health left. So a bomber shot coming in, a wide wing, and got the hit I needed. That heart cell goes down. And now for the shots on Grievous. As you guys look on the screen there, Grievous is the left belly above there. And Wedge is the one that's the closest Y wing on the right to you. And then Wedge is the X wing on the left. And we're definitely going to be doing Wedge first. Or I mean, not Wedge. Um, uh, Dutch first. Hopefully activate Grievous' slider and then let Wedge take his big six dice shot into Grievous. And uh, Grievous has two braces. And also just talking this through here, um, that belly above is not providing screen because screen ships don't provide screen if I'm reading that right. Does that look yeah, that's right? right. It has to be surrounded by like vulture doors. Yeah, yeah. So not getting the dodge effect here. Alright, starting with Dutch. Alright, got at least one damage I need, and then we will, well, actually I guess I'll keep this accuracy, doesn't really matter. And then Torn Far, so two damage, so we want to brace the one, and then going to move his activation slider, he's now considered activated. And then Wedge coming in, shooting at an activated ship, or an activated squad, it's two extra blues, so six, four. it's actually pretty good. And these two are crits. Crits don't matter, so we roll one of Torn Far. I'd love another accuracy. Nope. So three damage. Actually, the ac I'll accuracy your green brace so you can burn a bra your brace to take two. Yeah. So Grievous is taking three total damage from that. And I have no flag shots. No one's in range or a clear shot that's not going to be uh, obstructed. And moving at speed one. Just going straight. There. Sal Nalar. Squadron Command. There's a Squadron Command. How many health do these health have left? He has three health left. The, uh, he's referring to the uh, Phoenix Home. I'm going to go ahead and activate my three squadrons. Uh, the three vultures. vultures. The three vultures. Yeah, the three vultures. And then uh, side, I'm assuming you're going to do, probably do a side shot into him if he's still alive. Yep. Do a side shot into Bright Health to try to kill that. Or potentially do flacking at the back. There's lots of flack to do. I'll uh, let you guys know what's happening based on what happens with these squadron attacks. First vulture. Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Nothing. Remember, these are not bombers. And then blast. Okay. Alright, then I'm assuming you definitely want that side shot, right? Yes. A clear side shot. Okay. And this is also at. Medium range. I'm assuming you want to shoot my side. Yeah. Uh, if you want to shoot my side, it's going to be long range, which means that my evader will be able to cancel. If you shoot my front, that has two shields. That's at medium range. Um, I'm just going to shoot your side. Shoot the side. This is a long range shot. Then I have no shields there. Stop your uh, evade. So stop my evade. Three damage coming in. Um, I will go ahead and brace it to two and redirect the two to the front. So shields down on the front. All right, and then I'm assuming you want to do a side shot into right hope. Yep. Try to take that out finally. Right hope. Getting it right. <laughs> it does have one health left. 
or two health left, it's taking one damage. No shields on the side it's being shot at. But I will remember Bright Hope this time. I do get to reduce damage by one. That is true. Yeah, you'll need an accuracy to stop the scatter. I could then, if you re-roll, you basically would need three damage with an accuracy. Yeah, get three damage with yeah. accuracy. It might be better just to do a whole bunch of flapping out the back. Yeah, but uh, uh, I should have shot at your. I should have should have taken the bombing runs. So how much? I didn't even do any damage. Yeah, it was wasted. Um, Um, ah, just shoot at Bright Hope. Shoot at Bright Hope? Okay. Well, I guess it's not... You could... Then you could potentially turn to ram into me, but we'll see. You could also get the lucky hit you need. Yep. You get at least one accuracy. <laughs> oh, but no, but... Okay. okay. Good. Yeah, I don't know. It'll be close. You're going at speed two. Right? Right, but it's... Is it... It's where you land. Is so, it where, oh, no, it's where I land. Okay, yeah, so I can't yeah. maybe hit him. Yeah, it's... Um... Really depends on where you want to uh, maneuver to. I just want to go, uh, um... I just want to go straight so I don't get in the front arc. The battle cruiser? Yeah. It's probably... Yeah, just... Just straight, straight? Yeah, just straight. Okay, okay. Right there. Yeah, okay, I can get my remaining battle cruiser. It is a concentrate fire, and I will be taking two shots. Um, you see the damage. They're both actually looking not half bad. I think I'm actually going to take my first shot. Close range, because I'll be using the con fire there. So close range uh, into foreman's labor here, then long range shot into the uh, beast of burden here, and confire will be used here so I can take the second shot, and uh, I don't have any squads around here, so I will not be doing any of the uh, Sato shenanigans. Okay, so with Spinal, I've got five red, three blue. Uh, Of these red blanks here. I'm gonna con fire in. Con fire in a red. You have what? Two shields on the front there. Mm -hmm. Two shields on the front. Four health left. Yeah, I'm definitely locking. I'm gonna spin these now. Definitely locking. Brace and redirect down. Actually, do you have any shields on your left side? Mm -hmm. So no shields on any of your sides. Only on the back. On the back. Only in the back. So I'm actually you don't need to stop your redirect. I'm gonna lock down your brace there. Then spend this. Oh wait, yeah. Spend this to leading shots. All of these red dice. Right there. Yeah, that was a great hit. Yeah, so I think that'll get him one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that'd be have to take him out. Alright, then on Beast of Burden, get his uh, defense token. Actually, you can just grab the evade. No, oh, which one? Just grab the evade for Beast of Burden. I'll just move that over here. This is where oh, I got. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beast of Burden, which I think is untouched. I think you're only taking some shields from doing Wat Tambor, right? Yeah. yeah. From the back. There's no shields on the back. Yep. Yeah. Other than that, untouched. So five red, three blue, and shoot the so you guys can see what they are. That is really good. I definitely want to stop this evade so that uh, you won't be canceling anything. Question is, this is actually pretty good, but it is worth the leading shots. I'll spend one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's worth to spend one to try to get a double. Nope. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. Brace to four. And doing some redirecting. Just take it all on shields. Yeah. Three off the front, one off the side. Yeah. So, a pretty good start. Moving on at speed two. 
I do like these. I like the look of them. I like their firepower, but I miss the maneuverability of a Star Destroyer. <laughs> which is, I think to say that a Star Destroyer is more maneuverable than these modern cows. Uh, the remaining battle hard cell with an engineering command. And I just want to heal your damage. So I got three. You've got two shields on the front and uh, no shields on the back. But you have one damage card, so you could just heal the damage card. Damage. Yeah, shields are in pretty good shape. Um, it's definitely hard to drop these hard cells. <laughs> these yeah. things are tough. So I guess I've got how many how many flags do I have? Uh, what's your flag dice? Let's see. Do I have a clear shot for that? Oh, you definitely got a bright hope shot. Oh yes. You actually got me double arch, just in case you don't get me. Um, ooh, shooting me in the back is important as bright hope. Let me see where that dust field. You know, I don't think the dust field. So tough to tell. Yeah, we'll say that's a clear shot into the back. It barely, the yellow dot to yellow dot is missing the dust field, I think. Okay. So, front shot into the back of Bright Hope and then flacking out the side. Alright, so uh, into the back of Bright Hope. Front and back. Accuracy, so I'll reroll with turbo yep. So I got two hits. Maybe accuracy. Yep. Yeah, I'll definitely scatter that. And then you want to do just a bunch of flak, or did you want it? You can do a side shot into the side of Right Hope, which actually would not be worth it. I think flacking is your best option. You get what a blue and a black. You get a black on um, wedge and a Y wing. Then the rest will be well. You'll get a blue and a black on wedge and a generic Y wing. Then just a blue on the remainder. So, start with wedge. Uh, um, two hits. Brace to one. Okay, generic Y wing. One. Okay. And then just blue dice for the rest. We'll do the loop. Nothing. Down Dutch. One. Dutch down to five. Okay, then regular Y wing. Nothing. And the last regular Y-Wing. Nothing. Okay. And currently moving at speed 3. I know there is a lot of uh, confusion for you guys with the whole Bright Hope situation, but as an Imperial player, now playing with Bright Hope for the first time... Am I gonna crash? I recognize how hard it is to kill this thing. If you go that way, you might be going off the board next turn. But you, you could play in that, but yeah, you, yeah. you are only a... a Command value one. You might crash though here. That's gonna be close. But we'll see. Barely sliding in. Avoiding the ram. Alright, got Phoenix home. There's a squadron. I do have flight commander. I don't know if I need to use it. I think I can just go ahead and activate. Not I'm gonna use flight commander. Because I'm not in range of my maximum of four that I can use with my expanding hair. So I'm going to shoot first, then move, and then activate um, this ball of squadrons right here. And uh, depending on what I can kill, I might, I don't think I can kill enough to get away. I might send a bomber somewhere. We'll see. I'll describe what's happening and take a picture of it. And uh, as far as shots, I'm just going to do some flacking out the front and the side. Taking pot shots here isn't going to do much of anything. Um, even at, it's going to be long range, yeah, not going to be worth it. So doing some flacking, moving, and using Flight Commander to activate. Right, start with the flacking out the front first because I have previous in that belly above that's tied up with me double arcs. So we will start with Grievous. Takes a hit. Then the other belly above. Nothing. Yeah. Then the double arc, the regular belly book. Nothing. That's a crit for close there. Then Grievous on the double arc with the hit. Grievous does go down. Right now, for the remainder out the side, the belly book there, right next to the uh, Phoenix Throne. Nothing. Then just going down the line there, first vulture. Nothing. Um, I just looked. I'm uh, definitely not in torn far range. Nothing. I like my crits. Yeah. And nothing. Take this value about. So we're gonna do a loop first. 
Um, that's only one hit. That was pretty terrible. Y wing. Nothing. Uh, oh wait, we are in torn far, so Luke torn far real quick. Nothing. Y wing torn far. Nothing. My goodness, my blues are failing me. And last Y wing uh, gets two hits. So, but he is not dead, so I am still locked down there. Cannot move those guys because they're not heavy, right? No. A little out of order. Um, as you'll see in the picture that I showed, I moved Phoenix home first and activated those guys because of Flight Commander. So Phoenix home, this movement would have happened before the squadrons attacked. That was just to get me in range to be able to activate. the burden. Activate squadron command. Squadron command. That sense because I'm not in range of anybody. Oh, it's going to pass it off. That's not changed. Nope. I'm not in range to do any squadrons. Um, no one to comms. Well, you could comms. You're in range to comms net it to the Munificent, I think. That's range distance 5. Yeah, you can comms net to Munificent. And you've got. And you re refresh your TV series droid so you can use that next turn as a full dial. Okay, so I'm going to comms net the. Actually, I'm going to take uh, Rune Hako, take his comms net, send it out to him. Give it to the Summer War, and so can I take two tokens when you reveal? I don't think you transfer the token, do you? you yeah, but I take it, give it to him, and then uh, okay. When you reveal command, you may choose another friendly ship at distance one to five. If you do so, discard any number of to command tokens from that ship, this card, or both. So I discarded it from this card to gain one matching command token for each discarded token. Well, so you're gaining the command token. Right, and then comms net it. Well, you're gaining it with here. Okay, so you, yeah. you, you don't need to do that. Okay, so you got the squadron dial anyway. Okay, so, so you, you don't need to do the Rune Hockle thing. Okay. So Rune Hockle still has both of his stuff. Okay. Um, Can I send his engineer token out? Uh, says it's when you reveal a command, and since you're only command value one, I think how this works since you have to take the token. Um, yeah, because the comms net is after the reveal command dial step. Okay. So you have to do the squadron dial. Sorry. You take the squadron token. You're full up, so you can't bring, you can't swap a token out okay. or gain a token. Okay. So, uh, but yeah. Okay. So, uh, now, you could choose not to take it. If you don't want to send the squadron over to Munificent, you can choose to send an engineering over instead. Okay, I'll send the squadron token over. Send the squadron over. token over. Okay. Then... Um, you got me double art. Okay. Couple shots. Into my, uh, I'm assuming, definitely want front to front because I have no shields there. And then I think it would have to be side to side. Just gonna check. Yeah, it had to be side to side. And you could actually do front, front. Actually, no, I have full shields there. Never mind. <laughs> it's the opposite of what you want to do. You do have a clear shot though because you're not crossing my line. So you can do front to side, side to side, double arc. So, so this is what's yeah. going to happen. We're, we're changing your mind here on the token. So, you, so this is how this works. You stake your um, squadron take command. Take the token. You take your token. And then I'll send out. And then, well, this is what you happens first. You discard any number of tokens. So right. you discard this. Um, Set from the card. From the cards. So you're discarding the squadron token that you gained from the dial. Uh -huh. And oh, your engineering okay, okay. token from Unhako to gain an engineering token, then you that. comms net that over. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's a little. That's definitely a little confusing how yeah, that works. But, so, yes, okay. yeah. so engineering got sent over to the yeah. Salinar instead. All right. So we're doing a front to side first. Keep it. All right. So I will raise to two, and then use my redirect as my expert shield text just to take it as one damage. So. And just take it on the shield, so shield's down on that port side. And then side to side, one blue. One. One, I'll just take it, so one face down. I have five health left on that battle cruiser. Going speed. One. That's gonna ram before you lock it in. Good. Unless you bad. want to ram me. Yeah, that's actually not bad. What do you have? How much health do you have? Like five? Yep, so if you ram me, I'll be down to half health. Four health left. Oh my god. Yeah, so, so just, just boop, go back forward, go backward. Yeah, go before, go backward, don't move. Okay. 
I right, take your face down, you take That's your face down. Face. Just kind of walk you through. This belly above and this belly above, you got left to activate on this side. He's obviously locked down and has to shoot. He has the option to shoot at this Y wing, barely within engagement range, but the Y wing's heavy so he can move if he wants or he can shoot. Then all the hyena bombers on the other end, let me show you here. We've got one that can throw a bomber shot if they want into Bright Hope, which is kind of pointless, but maybe, maybe force me to spend a redirect if you get a double. And uh, the other hyena bombers then can do some movement. Um, I'll show you at the start of round five for, where the movement happens, and then we'll show you some of the attacks here from the belly. The one that's uh, barely in engagement range into my Y wing. Uh, four. Belly buffs have been on point, so that Y wing is down to one. Uh, did you want to just finish them off with the other? Yeah. Just need one. Got him. Easy. Sir. Y wing goes down. And then. The hyena bombers are, are going to move. I'll show you where they move at the start of round five. Start of round five, and so you know, Purgles have just been hanging out over here. We've not been putting them in the fray. Hyena bombers moved over here to stage, prepare their bombing runs. And uh, they are within range of the boosted comms munificent over here. Honda was activated. And uh, what did you take? You took squadron and. Uh, squadron and navigate. And navigate, and you put them on what? I put the squadron on uh, the, uh, the cell noir, and I put the navigate on the other hard cell. Okay, the hard cell down here. Then I got an engineering which went on the Phoenix home and a concentrate fire which went on my battle cruiser. Bright Hope, it is a squadron command. Getting three of them, and uh, basically what I have to do here is I've got to get this buddy bub killed so that I can send people over to th throw some bombings on. This hard cell, which uh, only has three health left, um, although I'm trying to think, is that the best use? Because my battle cruiser is going to get them anyway. I don't know. I'm going to think about that, but I'll let you know where they go, and you'll see in the pictures um, uh, what happens. All right. First, we're going to do a wedge on the belly bub. See if we can get what I need. Two damage. Got it. So belly bub does go down. And I'm going to be moving both of the generic Y wings. They're going into the front of the beast of burden. So, uh, all right. First Y wing on the front where there are no shields. He does have one shield left on the left side. Properly. Nothing. Bomber command. So one hit. Side. On the front. So I will redirect to the side. Okay, let's so redirect to the side. Zero. And then second Y wing. Nothing. Bomber command. For one. Uh, for one? Yep. So you don't want me to yeah, re roll. To... I'd love you to have me roll. Might get that double. <laughs> we'll get I'll a blank. Take it. All right, two health left on Beast Moon. All right, and then moving at speed one. Barely not gonna ram. Fortunate there. So the war is activating. Squadron command. Squadron, so you can get three. And I have a token. And you have a token, so you can get four. So you can get all the hyena bombers that are over here that are within. Can I go ahead and use the engineer use engineering. To use the Yep, so you get two engineering points with that, so you'll be able to get one um, victory token. Wait a minute, I have a T robot thing. You can make it a dial, so, so you can get two dial. tokens and get rid of the dust field. So I'll get rid of the dust field. Okay. And I'll get what, two victory tokens? Two victory tokens, yes. That's actually really good, because now you have a clear shot into uh, Bright Hope, or into uh, or an obstructed shot if you want it into my battle cruiser. But you have options now. But the dust field has been consumed. Okay, and the hyena bombers have moved over to my port side where I have no shields. 
first time you have armor. Three. Good shot. They will brace that to two and redirect to the front. So two shields down on the front. Okay. Next one. One. Um, I'll uh, I'll just take that. Three health left. Second one. Or third one. Third one. Okay, I will raise that to two and burn this to redirect to the front. So no shields up on the front. Okay, and last one. For one. Battle cruiser is still alive. On one, two, three, four, five, six. Two health left on the battle cruiser. Okay, so now for shots, we're gonna be doing a side to front. It is barely obstructed, so there's only two dice, but I have no shields there. Two. I gotta burn it, otherwise I'm dead. So I've got one health left. Now you got a rear shot that you can do into my uh, pelt zone. Because you do not have any double arts. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I can't shoot you from the back. Yeah, yeah the back is not. Oh, okay. Shot into the side. Okay. Two which, red. But you get three red because it's final. Three red. Yeah, let me grab my uh, defense tokens here. Yeah. Okay, and I only have a. Uh, I only got three health left there. Yep. Yep. I'll we'll stop your. I'll we'll have to stop your. Okay, so I do have to take it, so I will. Uh... Well, actually, let me see. Can I have anywhere to redirect to? I don't, so I have to take it. So, brace, take one damage, two health left. And the Phoenix home. Let's be two. Yep. Very good. Okay, doing my battle cruiser. It is a concentrate fire, and I have a token from Hondo. I probably will not be using it on that shot. I'll be using it on the flat shot. I'll be doing it to side onto the hyena bombers. First front to front shot into the uh, red, three blue. No shields. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's it. With yeah. Okay, I have a well, actually, hang on. You got an evade. Yeah. If I stop your evade, then if you brace, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Yeah, so get it even with the brace. Oh, so you guys can do that there. And I'm gonna do a bunch of flacking outside. These guys are nice. They get the two black dice. And all you guys are full health, right? Yes. The vein is. Right, we're going to start furthest away, working closest to the camera, so you're right to left, Robbie. So, first one. One hit. Next one. Two hits, and I am going to concentrate fire using my dial on this one. Might as well try to capitalize. Or three hits on that one. Then next one, two hits. And then last one for one hit. And I can't re-roll that with the, the token because you have to spend the dial token at the same time. So I still have the token sitting on the ship. And for movement, I'm just going speed two and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit this Y wing. Turning away, he's on to try to survive. I have one health left. <laughs> I'm gonna place that Y wing. Yeah, that last hard cell here, it is a navigate. Um, he has no shots on anybody because hard cells don't have dice out the back. I'm basically, just gonna try to just wanna try to do a turn around the back here. Can I do an inside turn like that? Yeah. You do like this. Okay. Although you might ram. You want to try it? Um, yeah, I can try it. Okay. Uh -oh. 
Clear. Fine in formation. Moving away from the battle. Pretty sure they are not going to die. No, I'll just come down to uh, what squadrons live and die. It is a squadron. I'm going to use my engineering token. And I get two with that. I'm going to use that to raise a shield on my side and shield on my front. And then I'm going to be activating Luke and Dutch. They're going to be going to do something. I'm wondering. He has no damage. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. I think I just got to go for squads see what squads I can take out. Now I'll let you know what squads I go after. We, I, I'm probably actually going to go with the hyena bombers. They're the most deadliest to me. So probably going after the hyenas up at the top. Right, first, there's going to be Luke going in on the hyena bomber with two health left. And four damage. I should have gone for a fresh one. <laughs> then Dutch is going to go after one with one health left. And got the one I need. And then I'm going to be flacking on all those over there. So one blue dice, so the belly above. Nothing. Um, okay, vulture, nothing. <laughs> vulture, one. And the other vulture, one. Oh, he's dead. Oh, got him. How about that? I gotta try not to hit my battle cruiser, because if I do, <laughs> he will die. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm a small ship, so I can do the inside turn shenanigans as well. I'm just going to shift him real quick. Yeah. Inside turn, alert klaxons going off everywhere, smoke and fire billowing out of the battle cruiser, and the Phoenix home. Everything is on the last health being held together by bubble gum and duct tape. Or only squads remaining are this belly bub and these vultures, not in any gauge anywhere. Probably I'll move them and then we'll be going to this top of round six. We are at the final round, round six. Sal Nolar and this hard cell battle repit will survive. But can they do enough damage with squadron commands and their droids? Rebellion ships are barely hanging on. Phoenix Helm, two health left. Battle Cruiser, one health left, barely holding it together. And the remaining Rebellion heroes, Wedge, Luke, and Dutch, clear out these pesky droids to keep their capital ships alive. So I will be activating Bright Hope, and uh, it is a squadron. And I'm definitely going to be activating Wedge, Dutch, and Luke, and see what we can clear out. Most likely trying to lock down some hyenas, and also locking down this group over here so that they um, can't do anything either. First we got Dutch going on the Vulture Droid that has two health remaining. Got one hit and then Torn Far for the second hit. It goes down. Yep. And Wedge is going to go on the Vulture Droid with three health remaining. And just as you guys see there, I will maneuver to the belly above. It is not an engagement range of Dutch or Wedge. On the Vulture, two hits so far. Then Torn Far. Got the third hit. Torn Far coming through. And then Luke attacking the Hyena Bomber that's closest to my battle cruiser. Two damage. How much health did he have left? This one? Yep. Uh, down to one. Down to one, so torn far. For three. Torn far, again, paying off. And then a, sing a couple flak shots, so flak out the back on the belly bub. Takes one. And then flak out the front on the hyena. Also takes one. No, he, he actually didn't that Okay, and just moving at speed one. So, Alright, the sound of war. Squadron command. Squadron command. Uh, you're in range of this bill you vote, so you can activate him, go have him attack somebody. 
and barely in range to get a rear shot into Bright Hope. So can I move around now to take a shot at him? If you've got the range to get there, maybe I should have locked him down. What's his speed? Four, four. Uh, yeah, that was a mistake on my part. I should have shot him. Yep, he can go and shoot in the front. That has no shields. I have no redirects. That's a problem. Right. I have race doesn't matter because I only have I have no shields. Only have one health. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, I should have, that was a mistake on my part. I was worried about Wedge, and I should have been worried about my big ship. I think that might put it over the edge. That was a big time mistake on my part. Good shot. All right, so now for the shot into the rear. All right, Hope, I do have a shield there. Still have two health left, but I don't reduce damage in the right Hope title. So it's, I don't want to say it's impossible, but we can see what happens. Really good. Stop the scatter, but I'll cancel the double and just take one on the shield. And lastly, we got Phoenix home, and it is a squadron. I'll be activating these final two Y wings. See if I can't get the final two shots. Um, we're going to do this Y-Wing on this belly bub, along with the flak, try to take it out. Then this Y-Wing is flying up to take out this, uh, see if it can't take out this Hyena bomber. Alright, so we'll start with Y-Wing on Hyena. No damage, torn far, no damage, he survives. Then Y-Wing on belly bub. Two damage, got him. And that's it for that. And final maneuver at speed two. Sato and the Phoenix Home survives, but it's definitely going to be a crushing defeat. Final hard sell. Navigate. Navigate. I'll just uh, reduce the speed one and just go straight. Yep, I'll get here. Yep, and that's going to be it. Granted, that hyena bomber could take a shot at somebody, but uh, Luke and that Y-Wing are both full health, he won't kill him. So, I'm going to tell out the points. It was going to be a close game until my major mistake and that hero belly above took out the battle cruiser. We'll get the points tallied and you'll, we'll let you see how everything turned out. So, you all aren't going to believe this. Robbie and I don't really believe this. <laughs> But the final total came to 434 for the Rebels and 422 for the Separatists. One Hyena Bomber and it would have been a tie. Uh, I guess I just didn't realize how expensive, I guess it was the hard cells and me taking out all but one of your squads getting all those points. I thought for sure when my second Battle Cruiser went down it was over with your victory tokens. But uh, the victory tokens are only 10 apiece in this one. They're not like, usually they're 15 or 20, but they're only 10 for this one. So, I, I can't, well, one, it's probably the closest game we've ever had. And uh, I thought for sure I had gotten slaughtered when my second battle cruiser went down. But I just underestimated how much the hard cells cost when we started adding up. And all the squadrons adding those up as well. So, well, what are your uh, thoughts? Looks like you got a better, you are definitely a... Uh, Get a better handle on the separatists. You're definitely um, looked like you were more comfortable with them this time around. Um, it was it's the repair shenanigans that help. The hard cells are a lot more uh, durable when you put them in kind of wolf packs. They hit a lot harder uh, when you put them up together. Yep. And then the the I think a really definitely one of the cooler moments was when the uh, tide of progress kind of hung in there and kind yep. of clogged everything up there yes. in the morning. It, it barely survived. You were able to use the title to discard. It was actually, it was a structural damage card that kept it alive. Yeah. And yeah. it allowed it to activate and shoot and do um, significant damage and not go down and clog, like you said, clogging things up with ramming. Well, that was what was crazy is that uh, their engineering, the Separatists is so good 
that by the end of the game, the cell in the world wasn't even touched. Neither was uh, the other combat hard cell. It yep. didn't, because uh, the other combat hard cell, uh, there at about round two and three, was really damaged badly. But its engineering just brought it right back into the game. Yeah, brought it back. I couldn't get any more shots on it. Right. Uh, right. And then the cell in the lore, I. I didn't even bother shooting at it because I just kept thinking about it. But I'm like, if I shoot at it, he's just going to heal a bunch, and it's not going to do anything. Yeah. So it definitely a lot more because I thought the in the, the squadrons definitely this game pulled through. I, I just I guess I got lackadaisical, and if I hadn't concentrated so much on trying to take down um, uh, the Pelta, maybe it would have turned out in my favor because I, I wasted two rounds with my fighters when they could have been taking out your squadrons. That is uh, true, yeah. I still have all three of my aces still alive, which are both worth, you know, like 20 points, 19 points, that uh, easily would have put you over the top if you would have been able to take them down. And would have also, they took out a lot of your squads. It would have stopped me killing your squads. Yeah, it can't, yeah. I don't think we realized it, but it, it came down to round six. It was round, it was, it did come down to round six, and it, and the point difference was I won a hyena bomber. Yeah, one eleven one. points. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and I, I thought about killing. Yeah, if I, yeah, uh, it, this was one of those matches where it was. Uh, it definitely Count Dooku, I think, helped a lot. Oh, that was so annoying. It was <laughs> because I well because I had uh, auxiliary shield teams. No. So I like took for both my battle cruisers and Phoenix Home, and I was planning to use engineering. I didn't care about the objective. I just wanted to get my side shields up more. Right. But for two rounds in a row, <laughs> you stopped my uh, engineering's, and then by the time the third round, when I was planning the battle, it's like you know I've got to start con firing at this point so I can get my gunnery team. So I just gave up on the engineering. That that was super annoying. Yeah. Those I, those engineering um, raids. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> yeah. I. Uh, um, I, I, a lot of people had said that Count Dooku wasn't really that great, but um, he was, I think what maybe what made this game a lot closer than it should have been was definitely his shenanigans oh, yeah. uh, messing, because I know you like to, na you, you were definitely going to need your navigate tokens for the uh, two liberties. Yeah, so I, I just had to, st I just didn't even play naps, because I saw that you had the nav, I'm just like, I don't even want to waste it, and it made them far less maneuverable, I couldn't turn them as hard as I wanted to. Yeah. yeah. And yep. I, I think that's why you were definitely, we had a bunch of collisions there, because it was the collisions I was noticing there towards the end that was kind of starting to kind of... Yeah, a lot of ram damage building yeah. up over time. It, yeah. it, it, because it definitely took out that first cruiser, the ram, ramming damage definitely, yeah, Duke was definitely... Well, I had to plan, I had to plan my entire game around him, because yeah. I knew what you had, I knew what you were going to be raiding me with, and I had just had to... It, I couldn't just pick commands. I had to think, well, if I pick this command, it's probably going to be raided. I have to discard it. Right. And, uh, it, I mean, I, I did the engineering anyway, just at the hope that you might not do it turn yeah. one, <laughs> and might not do it turn two, which you did anyway. But it was just, I had to plan my entire game plan when it mm -hmm. comes to planning my commands around that, and it was just annoying. Yeah. I think Dooku's great. Yeah. Just, yeah. To, just to mess with your opponent. Yeah, definitely. If they, uh, because, I mean, if you focus down to... Because that's usually what you're doing with command ships, is you're focusing on two commands, you know, usually. Yep. Not always, yep. but usually. But uh, you put Dooku in there, you can uh, mess with your opponent. With time. Now, I will say this. What would have really messed me up worse in the engineering, and looking back, mm -hmm. if you would have done two squadrons, yeah. and waited until mm -hmm. turn two and three, yeah. that really would have oh, screwed I, me over. I just, I, just, I, I just thought of that. I, I would, that would have neutered me so bad. Yeah, it, I was just thinking that if I had taken Dooku instead of the Navigate, yeah. That squadron, if I would have gotten the squadron. Oof. That, that would have been one round where I could have done activated squadrons, and then you could have just gone in and just slaughtered my squads before the squad phase happened. And yeah, definitely let those droids tear yeah. into them. But then the counter to that is then I would have two extra shields on all of my mm -hmm. ships. Yeah. So it's like, I yeah. would have, it, it's a, uh, I don't know. It was, it, was a, it was a good game. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. And, uh, and I was not expecting the end. I thought for sure you had me, but it, I, I just underestimated the cost. It was the hard sales. I didn't realize how expensive they were. Yeah. And then yeah. I didn't realize until the end that I did how many points you had in your squadron. Well, they're basically Nebulons. I mean, they got three red up front, and they've got decent... Yeah, okay. And they do have five health. So yeah, that's, so I mean, they basically yeah. are Nebulons. Yeah. Well, it was a great game. Yeah, I really enjoyed excellent. it. Yeah, yeah. awesome.
And uh, just as a reminder again for the giveaway, uh, don't forget to let me know what your favorite medium base ship is in the comments below to enter yourself in to win the $45 store credit to Admiral Tater Ship Shop. Remember, if you answer on each video, you get entered in for each video you answer on to increase your chances. So again, thank you for watching, and until next time, take it easy.